Pataki served as California's 40th governor since 2019. But fast forward to now, a new UC Berkeley LA Times poll indicates Governor Gavin Newsom standing among Californians is at its lowest level since he first took office. Per the survey results, 49% of Californians disapprove of the job Newsom is doing. 44% do approve of the job he's done, but that, according to the poll, reflects an 11-point drop since February. I was not surprised that his numbers had come down. Rob Stutzman is a GOP strategist. He believes Californians are getting fed up with seemingly unresolved issues facing the state. Homelessness is one of them. There has been billions spent while the problem got worse. The other is uh, certain related crime issues, whether it's uh, retail theft or fentanyl. In California, you're governed by a Democrat president and a Democrat governor. And if you don't, things are, go don't think things are going well, yeah, you're going to be dissatisfied with their job performance. Newsom's campaign spokesperson Nathan Click dismissed the poll as an outlier, a message echoed by other Democrats. I don't think it's very relevant. Robert Trum is a longtime Democratic political strategist and now serves as the director of the USC Dornsife Center for the Political Future. He and the Newsom team point out another poll released just last week shows the governor enjoying a 56 percent approval rating. Still, Trump says even if Newsom's approval is decreasing, history shows that is unlikely likely to stand in the way of future White House ambitions. Ronald Reagan, at the end of his time as governor of California, did not have a, a, a very robust approval rating, nor did Jimmy Carter at the end of his time as governor of Georgia. And they both went on to win presidential nominations. So I, I'd be I'd take all these polls with a grain of salt. And while the poll indicated Newsom's approval rating has decreased, it also showed some 60 percent of Californians support his proposed bond measure on the March ballot to fund more than 11,000 behavioral health beds and supportive housing units across the state. At the state capitol, covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.